If you want to learn how to create a picture quiz like this, then keep on watching. Hello, my name is Tony and this is my channel Ready Steady Excel. If you want to learn more about these applications here, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell will put you on the right track. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a quiz with pictures. And it's happening right now. To create the quiz, I'm going to use a separate application first. And for this, I'm going to use Microsoft Forms. Microsoft Forms is available to Microsoft 365 accounts. So this can be school, work, or personal. Although with the personal accounts, some of the settings will be different. To create my quiz, I click New Quiz. The form option is for creating feedback forms and polls, which I will cover in a separate video. So let's click New Quiz, give my quiz a name, pop in a description, although this is optional, and click Add New to start adding the questions. So there's different types of questions that I can add. I've got multiple choice, got text, got rating, got dates. If I click on the drop down, I've got more question types to choose from. For this example, I'm going to go for choice, enter in my question. And to add the picture, I simply click on this icon here. You've also got the option to add videos too. To upload from my drives, I'm going to click upload, browse to the relevant folder, and I'm going to click on picture one. And there's my movie poster. Now all I need to do is put in the answers for the multiple choice. To add another choice, just simply click add option. When you've put in the possible answers, make sure you select the correct one. So do you know the answer to this question? Yep, Shawshank Redemption, one of my favorite films. So down here at the bottom, how many points do you want to award for this question? So I'm just gonna put in one point. To add another question, I just simply click add new. I'm gonna continue now to add the further questions and then I'll show you how to share this quiz. So there's all my movie questions entered. Uh, before I move on, I just want to give a shout out to my cousin Neil, who helped to provide uh, the images and the inspiration uh, for this quiz. So thank you very much, Neil. So there's my questions entered. So if I want to preview how this will look, I just simply click preview. So there they are there, and I could go through this. There's also a mobile option as well, so you can see how it looks like on the mobile. It actually looks better on the mobile. So that's pretty cool. And if I go back, now before we share this, let me just show you some settings. So if I click more options, I've got settings. And there's all types of settings in here. You can, you can choose whether to show the results automatically at the end of the quiz. You can choose a start date, end date. But here in the middle, you can select who can fill out this quiz. So you can share it with your organization. And by default, that will automatically pick up their name and their email address. But if you want to make it more public, then you would choose anyone with the link can respond. Now with this option, it won't automatically pick up their name or email address. But what you can do is that you can create a question that will pick that information up. And let me show you. So I'll go back to the top, click here, click add new. This time I'm gonna go for text. And I'm gonna say enter your name. I'm going to make this a required field. So they have to put their name in. Click add new. Let's do another text one. And again, that one's required by default because I selected it previously, which is good. Let's preview it. That's how it would look there. So that's how you can capture their name and email address or any other details you'd like to get. Now, when it comes to sharing, uh, you simply click share. And you've got this link which you can copy and paste into an email or into a web page. Now, if you want to add it to Teams, you don't need to copy this link. You do something slightly different. So I've got a channel here that I've created earlier called Quiz Team. And I simply click on the plus, choose forms. I'm going to select an existing form. There's movie poster. And I want to collect responses. The other option you've got here is show results. So this is if you want to create like a, a results page which you would do separately so i want to collect responses click save so here's my movie quiz and if i scroll down you can see all the questions and then people can submit this at the end and if you want to check the responses to these questions when they come in uh, just simply go back into forms you have your quiz there if i click on it it'll take me in and then i've got responses and all the results would be shown here so I can review the answers 
And depending on how you've got the quiz set up, you can post the results. You can download it into an Excel spreadsheet. You've also got options here to delete any responses and to print a summary of the answers. Before I end today's video, I just want to say happy birthday to my niece, Amelia, whose birthday it is today. So happy birthday, Amelia. I hope you have a great day. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video.